well welcome back to a new video uh, today i'm delighted to speak about the light beams which are which we are using in a supermarket application for the continuous row um, so before we dive into the lighting calculation and use dialogs for these simulations um, i want to highlight the following picture with you today we will take care about the continuous lines um, in in supermarkets so where typically we have a um, height of from between four to six meters uh, in our case i will use a four meter height and surface mounted luminaires and the distance between two shelves will be three meters and as this graphic suggesting we will use a wide beam um, optic for uh, the luminaire so the, the other two cases are more for i will say narrow beam we will go for a warehouse logistic actually uh parks and the 60 it's more for i will say uh, logistic parks which have constr um, tools and usually we go to buy stuff for co construction or around uh, around our house like ob hornbach and so on this kind of uh, of applications and another very important graphic i will say is the following one where we have a single luminaire or yeah the same uh, luminaire where we with more optics uh, available like um, double asymmetric asymmetric uh, a flat which is a very wide beam known in the lighting industry wide beam um, narrow and very narrow so these kind of, these optics usually can be found in the in a, on a single luminaire type and yeah you can just use um use uh, use that uh, specific optic that you need for for your application the main reason why i want to speak about the light beam light beams is uh, very important um to choose the correct wide beam by having the let's say the dimension of the, the between the two shelves uh, the height of installation of the luminaires so then you can uh, for all these lighting beams for example i choose for you the following luminaire which in this case we this luminaire has like five to six uh different light distribution so it's very important to narrow your um to uh, your um using let's say uh, light beams to maxim two for our case i will go for a wide beam i will say this is the the proper one but i will want to compare it with a very wide beam just to see the effect and of course the results that we will get so let's select the luminaire um, the wide beam how i did the comparison it's very easy if you want to add that list you just click on this one and then by adding all the luminaires you will get the following preview so this is very good also if you use different luminaire from different manufacturer but also in my case where i want to explain you same luminaire with different uh, light distribution curves and yeah then let's start the calculation so the first one i will go with a white beam the lux level on the floor level will be 300 lux the luminance level uh, for uh, for the sales and here on the second row sorry i will just go and choose the very wide beam in this case and now i'll just add these luminaires for the for the second row so here you can see already uh, the difference between the, the distribution curves very nice realized from above and here as one well from a different view let's say from front so you can see the wide beam i will say first view this will be a proper for uh, this type of application with uh, the current dimension that i mentioned early and yeah i will say that's 
that's really that's really good and let's start the calculation and let's see the outcome I choose to to use a continuous line from one wall to another just to have also the possibility to visualize the uh, light distribution curve on the end of uh, of the wall and in this case it would be very nice to see the difference on on the shape of the distribution curve for a very wide beam compared with a wide beam so you see it by end of the of the wall the very wide beam we have it on on the right and the wide beam we have it on on our left side um, the illuminance level you see it's 285 so we are below the 300 um, and yeah there's the difference here we have a bug in, in dialogues we're related to this um, um, let's say shadow on, on the floor level even i remove everything from from this space it seems that um, for some reason we have this uh, continuous line and it's just this part it's not a reflection from the shelf uh, as i said i remove the shelves and still let yeah the empty room and it's still appearing there but let's move on more important as i said is the to get the uh, overview of the of the light distribution so now you can see as well in false colors the the result so i will just say the, the comparison if i have 88 and if you go here yeah and now when i choose for example uh, the white beam for i want to change it actually with a very white beam with white beam as well and just to redo the calculation as you have seen uh, the illuminance level we of 300 lux we don't achieve it so i would suggest that for this application um, the most suitable optic will be the the white beam so let's see the result that we get in this case Yeah, so now we achieve the lux level um, requested for um, a supermarket area. And if you go also on the false colors, we see how nice is the uniformity on the on the floor level and also on the on the shelf level, I would say. So as mentioned early, um, it's very important to know exactly which light distribution you need to have. Um, to maximize the time of your work so it's better from as have you seen in, in the previous screen when you have so many options of the optics each barrel it's very good to narrow down to maximum two i say maximum two because you need to 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 make a comparison let's say if you very wide beam with a wide beam and maybe a double asymmetric and choose the best outcome related to uniformity lux level um, for your for your application and yeah i hope that uh, everything is clear if you have questions please let your comments in the section of the of comments and if you did not subscribe to my channel please do so that will help me and i appreciate your your support uh give a thumbs up and yeah check the other videos uh, which I will say they are very interesting uh, about different applications as well. And feel free to let your comments in the, in the section below. Uh, one uh, quick overview what I want to highlight is uh, I have another screenshot which I think is very important made. Um, speaking about the light distribution, um, here I want to highlight that even you have the same lumen, same distance, and you will get automatically a different lux level based on the light beam characteristics so you even you use say two meters when you have a 60 degree or uh, in this case will be uh, 
narrow, let's say, to medium beam, I would say, it would be 39, but if you go on narrow 38 degrees is 97 and very narrow and then very sharp i would say and or pointless you see a big big difference related to the illuminance level so that's all for today that's uh, next time we will go in a in a different different less application where i try to highlight also the importance of the of the of the light beams um as mentioned early for example, for a warehouse where we have a different height and then we need definitely a different lumen package, a different optic to achieve the, the lighting requirements for that one. So have a good day. Until next time, stay healthy. Bye-bye.